What's going on, YouTube? I'm Emotional, a.k.a. your Sultan of Sexy. You know where the best be is me, can't you see? I'm fresh and so clean. What's going on, y'all? We back at it for another Dimash video. This is Ultimate Dimash Guide Part 5 about producers and freedom. So we about to go ahead and dive straight into it. Also, before I forget, we are going to do Part 6 at the same at, after we do Part 5. You know what I'm saying? Or in the same video, if you get what I mean. So we about to go ahead and dive straight into it. Like, comment, subscribe. Now, baby, let's vibe. Hit the button, baby. I missed it. I really gotta get better with that. Me and the producer of Jok, JD, me and the producer of Bomet. Kazak and the Bomet. Оксет <gülüyor> Жүректен шыққан қалауым қандай? Сонымен ғана жүретін адамын сол септен. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you like to do what you like to do. You like to do things how you like to do things. It's like, you don't necessarily have to have a producer. You don't have to have that. You know what I'm saying? Especially because, like, he can already produce his own sound. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can already, like, play a bunch of different instruments. I'm pretty sure he can got a hand in, like, the mixing and mastering side of things. You know what I'm saying? But, like... I don't think he would need a producer in the first place. I mean, you are, like I said, you already play multiple instruments. Like, what do you really need a producer for? But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's, I guess, like, I have a different view on, like, a producer, what a producer is. Because I feel like a producer can be multiple things. Because it's like, you got, you got the folks that make beats. I feel like writing can be part of that as well. And then, of course, like, vocal arrangements and so on and so forth. I feel like there's so many different things that you can you can do as far as like production wise it's like i don't think that a producer is necessarily one specific thing i guess but like the word producer is such a broad word in my opinion you know what i'm saying uh bring it back которые предлагают мне хорошие условия. Как творческий человек, я должен чувствовать абсолютную свободу, чтобы я сам принимал какие-то решения, которые, касаются, которые будут касаться моего творчества. Для того, чтобы расти, я должен попробовать творить, работать в этом направлении. Ну да, уже, наверное, ни для кого не секрет, что у меня в разных странах есть разные продюсеры, компании с кем я сотрудничаю, но э, у нас нет такого, чтобы кто-то там кому-то обязан, там эксклюзивные права, вот это все. У нас просто все чисто э, на дружбе, на доверии. С Игорем Яковлевичем у нас э, некоторые почему-то думают, что у нас есть какие-то контрактные обязательства, у нас просто все на доверии, он пишет песни, я исполняю, э, я работаю I didn't know he worked with companies in the U.S. But then again, in the beginning of the video, it did say like, oh, out, um, something about the West. You know what I'm saying? Like going out West or something like that. But anyway. Это не просто. Во-первых, надо там жить. Так не получится. Жить в Казахстане, бывать в России, в Китае и раскрутиться в Америке, в Англии, на Западе. Нет, так не получится. Как может получиться, он сам знает. Подписывать какие-то контракты с мейджерами, 
Вот. Но как бы там был не совсем удачный опыт подписания контрактов с западными компаниями. Поэтому и Димаш, и Канат, они достаточно осторожны в подписании контрактов и, наверное, правы в этом. Hasn't his brother also done production for him in the past too? Because I think it was a, a song we reacted to. I think his brother helped produce. Let me know if I'm off though. But interesting that his dad is actually part of the uh, is like the main producer he works with. But also, like, how do y'all feel about the whole like? How can I explain it? Like the whole like he won't be as big as I guess. I guess like I think he said some. I think Igor was saying some about like. Um, he won't be. I, I'm paraphrasing. He won't be. Basically, he won't be big if he doesn't like live like out west or something like that. Like he won't be able to be as big as an artist as he could be. I think or something like that. Hold on. Let me let me go back to specifically what he said. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, he said it won't work if he lives in Kazakhstan. And then uh, bring it back some more. Это непросто. Во-первых, надо там жить. Так не получится. Жить в Казахстане, бывает в России, в Китае и раскрутиться в Америке, в Англии, на Западе. Нет, так не получится. Как может получиться, он сам знает. Okay, so he won't basically basically he won't be like big if he won't. I guess it's like he won't be big if he won't move to like the, the states or something like that. Boy, that if he does, if he stays in Kazakhstan, he won't be as big as he could. I guess because there, are there like are there not that many opportunities out there? Because I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, uh, we're gonna continue. Let me read, bring it back a little bit. Нет, так не получится. Как может получиться он сам знает. Подписывать какие-то контракты с мейджерами, вот. Но как бы там был не совсем удачный опыт писания контрактов с западными компаниями, mm. поэтому и Димаш, и Канат, они достаточно осторожны в подписании контрактов good, и, though. наверное, правы в этом. I'm glad that they're very careful with the contracts. Okay, so that's the uh that's part five. Now I I didn't yeah, I didn't know that his dad had a hand in like him with the contracts, you know what I'm saying? But also I'm glad that they are very careful with contracts because from what I've heard, contracts with labels are very, very wild. You know what I'm saying? Some folks will mess around and get you on some crazy deal that you can't never get out of and whatnot. But me this is me personally. I personally don't think an artist like him necessarily need, I don't think they need to be with a label per se. But then again, I don't fully understand like what, like what goes on with his stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I know I never will, but like brothers talented. Like I I'm surprised, like what's the word I'm looking for as big as he is. I would think that he wouldn't necessarily need that. But then again, like I said, you never know what kind of, contracts he's signing and so on and so forth so but i'm glad that he has help especially from family and i think i think his dad was in the music game i think wasn't he wasn't he in the industry at some point i know i've seen something with him and his mom too let me know but we're gonna go ahead and go to part six full screen all right um okay here we go the team области они работают хотя бы музыканты э -э в Казахстане да они со мной гастролируют мой близкий друг Расу вот он у меня на Бакукале поет э -э одна еще подруга э -э Зарина она тоже на Бакукале поет Джордан 
она вообще жена моего брата и лучшего друга э, Ерлана Бекчурина. А Ерлан Бекчурин, э, он аранжировщик и э, саунд-менеджер, саунд-продюсер на всех моих концертах. За суфлером моя родная сестренка, Раушан сидит вообще. Э, Все в семью. Да. И за сценой, конечно, бегает папа с мамой, там переживает за что-то. Хотя у нас есть там и концертные организаторы и режиссеры все и братишка родной Мансур играет на дамбре со мной и другой братишка Алихан тоже со мной на дамбре играет и тебе так комфортно да вот когда рядом с тобой твои близкие получается вся твоя команда это в основном твои близкие друзья и родственники да ну почему и... потому что им доверяешь да ну... that is the true definition of keeping it in the family Like that is the true definition of putting your family on, as I say, like you really put your family in position to where all you got is family and friends around you. And what better type of team to have, especially when y'all are on the same page, like mentally, you know what I'm saying? As far as like what you what you're trying to get done and also folks being open to You know what I'm saying? Like giving advice and so on and so forth, because it's like you're going to receive it a lot easier from I would I would hope from a family member or a friend versus like a random person that you hired. You know what I'm saying? But I guess like as far as like my own personal thing, I'd be I'd be scared to hire a family. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd be I'd be scared to hire a family. Some of my friends. Yes. But some of my family, eh, eh, you know what I'm saying? Because like. You, you, I guess for me personally, and from what I've personally experienced, like I'm glad that I'm just glad that his family is on the same page because that that's that's a different type of situation in my opinion. Like, because like I just I would just be scared because like I've seen so many, I've seen family take advantage. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm glad that his family is on one accord. You know what I'm saying? Like I really appreciate I appreciate that. For him, I hope that that makes sense because it's like an artist like that with that type of talent and them abilities, he need a family. He needs people around him that's going to be like this. They're going to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Because the brother got the talent. He just needs the team that's going to be on one accord and move accordingly versus just folks moving in multiple different directions and so on and so forth. So I'm glad that his team is actually like solid. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I'm not afraid of people. I'm not afraid of people. Relationships and appreciation. А еще Димаш умеет быть благодарным. Все, что видим и слышим мы с вами, простые обыватели, это результат гигантского командного труда. Обычно артисты редко акцентируют внимание на своей группе, но только не Димаш. Жордан, Расу, Зарина, Басметы! Yeah, love, them love. И, а, тогда в Сочи он меня представил, представляете? Это, это была такая неожиданность просто. Он представил меня и э, сказал, что вот зри на сегодня дебил со мной на сцене. <laughs> давайте ее похлопаем, давайте ее поддержим. Она молодец и так далее. Зарина, вот, это и... ее первый, первый концерт. Это ведь такое никто не делает из артистов. Особенно вот бывают моменты, когда в конец, самый финал концерта, он вызывает нас к себе. В этот момент у нас у всех характер одинаковый, как будто становится, потому что это, 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 такое чувство вот этой эйфории, это вообще не описать словами. И мы прям все на сто процентов там пытаемся отжигать на сцене, потому что он как бы доверяя вытаскивает нас к центру. Ну, классный момент. Yes, Now I understand why there's so much cohesiveness too, because brother actually gives his people shine. He acknowledges them. He's like, hey, I didn't get this process done by myself. I got to show love to the, the people that helped me get here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really respect that because it's like, that's one of them things that I personally think is going was what's going to keep the team as a team, especially when you're leading the team, you know what I'm saying? It's like showing them appreciation and being grateful for them and everything that they do. You know what I'm saying? Because especially like, cause you know, folks want to, like, you never know what folks got going on. Some folks, they, they be like, hold on. I want, I want to sing lead too. I want a chance to be on stage. I want to be this. I want to do that. And it's like, 
you giving them that chance and giving them a chance to shine and showcase their talent and not just saying background all the time, but also not being egotistical. You get what I'm saying? Like, I like the fact that he's not egotistical because I know a lot of folks would have been very egotistical if they could, if they could sing like that. Imagine having that ability to sing like that and to be able to play all them different instruments. Folks would be egotistical. Folks would be all up in their ego feeling like, oh, I, I, I am this. I am this. I am that. Like, I can't you can't tell me nothing. But like brothers, very humble, very chill and very grateful. And I think that's the thing that's going that's really good. And uh, it, that's really good to have in a leader. You know what I'm saying? And just as a person. Неожиданно для меня и для Хизри он в конце программы а, объявил нас, поблагодарил а, за дружбу, за работу, за профессионализм, а, за человечество. Моего друга Максима Крэзи Макс. Очень... Я вот пока стою с камерой, я даже это не записал, потом кого-то попросил, там из фанатов, там, ну, общаемся с ним. Скиньте, говорю, хоть на памяти, чтобы у меня было такое, ну, приятно было бы. Действительно, очень удивительно. Я каждого концерта говорю там, спасибо моему брату, другу, Арджольску, Ирлане Чурину. Там эмоции, конечно, переполняют. Для моих родителей очень ну, такая честь, я думаю, что про сына говорят. Но за это хочу Димашу отдельно спасибо сказать. Ирлан, э, во-первых, это человек с огромным сердцем, с огромным сердцем и с большой душой, потому что на таком уровне аранжировать может только хороший человек, и он нереально музыкальный. Я очень горжусь им. Я считаю огромным счастьем иметь такого брата, такого друга, как Ирланд, потому что многие артисты ищут своего, того самого аранжировщика, а вот видите, как не повезло. Мы с ним можем болтать часами, мы с ним можем говорить о чем угодно. Он тот самый человек, один из немногих, которому я доверяю, по-настоящему доверяю. И я желаю ему и мне самому, чтобы наша дружба жила навеки. Вот ночами. То есть не каждый артист об этих людях не говорят. Ну, я с плохой ничего не имею в виду. Но как бы так принято. То есть они это сделали, сделали все. А здесь Димаш каждое свое выступление старается отметить меня, рассказать, как он это сделал со мной, как мы это сделали. Каждый из них самостоятельная персона с богатым внутренним миром и большими амбициями. Они не рассчитывают на его помощь, но точно знают, что если понадобится, Димаш всегда протянет руку. the end of part six now i'm learning a lot bro like especially like the people that have been with dimash and helped him get to where he's at and like 
again, like I really am glad that his team is full of love and genuine love on top of that. Like it's genuine. It's like, yo, like we talk, like he said with, uh, one of his, pe- one of his peoples, he was like, uh, they, t- he really trusts him and they talk about anything, everything. And then, um, what was it? Also, like, I appreciate the fact that you put that, um, Jordan was leaving, but the fact that you showed her love and gave her a whole like segment showing her love and stuff like that and encouraging and stuff like that. I think that's really dope because it's like, it's when, when somebody's a part of a team that you're so accustomed to, you're used to them being around. It's like, you know, it can kind of feel uncomfortable when folks leave, like, especially like in like, whether it's groups or, um, teams rather, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, it's like, it's one of those bittersweet things. Cause it's like, okay, you get to go off and do your own thing and whatever it is that you do. And then like, but we still also have the memories of when you were around, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's just one of the things that's sad because it's like, you know, we go, you, you going to be missed. And it's like that, that spot that you left is going to be, it got to be filled with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe it won't be filled. I don't know, but it's interesting seeing like, again, the people, behind the artist known as Dimash because it's like, again, I'm glad that you made these videos because it's like, I get to see everything that's going on behind the scenes and also like behind the scenes as far as like who's around him. You know what I'm saying? And it's interesting that again, like I said earlier that he has his family, but the family is also walking in walking on one accord and we're trying to help Dimash get to where he needs to go. But he's also reaching back and saying thank you and grateful publicly as well as like in private. Like, yo, like, thank you for what you do, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking about her, y'all. Peace, easy, baby. Lay out.